Hello and good day everyone. My name is Sir Marcy and this is the second part of our video tutorial solving equations transformable to quadratic equation. This time we're going to solve rational algebraic equations transformable to quadratic equations. Are you guys ready? Let's start. Okay, before we go directly to our main topic, let's try to recall how to perform um, addition and subtraction of rational expressions. By the way, when we talk of rational expressions, this is nothing more than a fraction in which the numerator and or the denominators are polynomials. Okay, let's try example number one. Suppose we're going to add 2 over x plus 3x over 4. Our first step is to find the LCM of the denominator or also called the least common denominator or LCD. Our LCD here is equal to 4x. Okay, so the LCD is 4x. Next step is we will write each expression using the LCD. Okay, so plus, yan. So, 4x divided by x is 4 times 2, that is 8. 4x divided by 4 is equal to x multiplied to 3x, that is 3x squared. Next is, we're going to add or subtract the numerator. So, since these two are not similar terms, then we will just write them as 1. We have 8 plus 3x squared over, copy the denominator, which is 4x. So, next is we're going to simplify as needed. Since we cannot simplify this anymore, then this is now our answer. Also, we can rewrite this in 2. Okay, so we can rewrite this into 3x squared plus 8 all over 4x. There you go. Okay, example number 2. Perform the indicated operations. We have x plus 3 over 2x minus x plus 5 over 3x. So here, our first step is to find the LCD or the least common denominator. The LCD here is, so if we have 2x and 3x, that is 6x. So we will write each expression using the LCD. So we have 6x. Next is we divide the LCD to the denominator. Here we have 6x divided by 2x, that is 3. Okay, so 3 multiplied to x plus 3. Then 6x divide it to 3x, that is 2. So we have 2 multiplied to x plus 5. Since um, the denominator is the same, we can um, rewrite the numerator into 3 multiplied to x plus 3 minus 2 times x plus 5 all over 6x. Okay? Then we apply distributive property. We have 3 times x, that's 3x. Three, 3 times 3, we have positive 9. Negative 2 times x, we have negative 2x. Negative 2 times 5, we have negative 10 all over 6x. Then we combine similar terms. We have 3x minus 2x, that is x. Then 9 plus negative 10, we have negative 1. Over, copy the denominator, 6x. And lastly, simplify if needed. Since we cannot simplify this anymore, our answer is x minus 1 all over 6x. Okay, let's try our example number 3. We have 3 over x plus 3 minus x over x plus 3. Since they have the same denominator, we just 
proceed in adding or subtracting the numerator. Here, we can now write it as 3 minus x all over x plus 3. Okay? Solving quadratic equations that are not written in standard form. There are equations that are transformable to quadratic equations. These equations may be in different forms. Hence, the procedure in transforming these equations to quadratic equations may be different. Once the equations are transformed to quadratic equations, these can be solved using the different techniques in solving quadratic equations, such as extracting square roots, factoring, completing the square, and using the quadratic formula. Okay, example number one. Find the solution set of 40 over x plus x minus 2 over 2 is equal to 8. In the given rational algebraic expression, we can transform this to a quadratic equation. To solve the equation, the following procedure can be followed. Okay, step number 1, we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by the least common multiple of all denominators. In the given equation, our LCM is 2x. So we will multiply both sides of the equation by 2x. So 2x multiplied to 40 over x plus x minus 2 all over 2 is equal to 8. So 2x times 40, that is 80x divided by x, we have 80. Plus, 2x multiplied to x minus 2 over 2, that is x multiplied to x minus 2, is equal to, we have 8 times 2x, that is 16x. Then, we simplify this, that's now 80 plus X, x times x, we have x squared minus 2x is equal to 16x. So notice, this is now our answer when we multiply it by the LCM. But we're going to make this in standard form or transform this equation to standard form. So if we will rearrange this, this is now x squared minus 2x minus 16x plus 80 is equal to 0. Then we combine similar terms. Negative 2x minus 16, that is equal to x squared minus 18x plus 80 is equal to 0. So this is now the equation in standard form. After we convert this to standard form, what we need to do is to find the roots of the quadratic equation. So to do that, you can use any of the methods that we already discussed before. You can use um, factoring, you can use completing the square, or using quadratic formula. So in this case, I will apply or I will use factoring. So first, we factor the first term, that's x times x. And we factor the second or the last term or the constant term. We list all the factors of 80. Let's say this is um, 10 times 8. We have 16 multiplied to 5 and 40 times 2. So suppose these are the factors of 80. Next is we're going to add. This is 10 plus 18. Uh, 10 plus 8, that's 18. 16 plus 5 is 21, and 40 plus 2 is 42. So we need negative 18, but we, all, we only obtain positive 18. To make this negative 18, we'll make both signs of the factor negative. So when you add negative 10 and negative 8, that will become negative 18. Also, when you multiply negative 10, times negative 8, the product is 80. So we now have the roots or the factor of 
x squared minus 18x plus 80, which is x minus 10 multiplied to x minus 8 is equal to 0. Then, we apply the zero product property, wherein we're going to set each factor equal to 0. Here, we have x minus 10 is equal to 0. Then, we add both sides of the equation by positive 10. We now have x is equal to 10. And the other one, we have x minus 8 is equal to 0. We add both sides of the equation by 8. And we have now x is equal to positive 8. So these are now the roots of the quadratic equation x squared minus 18x plus 80 is equal to 0. So after we already figure out the roots of the quadratic equation, next is we're going to check whether the values obtained of x makes the equation or makes the original equation true. So we have x is equal to 10 and x is equal to 8. First, we're going to check if x is equal to 10 makes the equation true. So we have 40 over x plus x minus 2 over 2 is equal to 8. So we have 40 over 10 plus we have 10 minus 2 over 2 is equal to 8. So 40 divided by 10, that is 4. 10 minus 2 is 8 divided by 2, that is also 4, is equal to 8. So 4 plus 4, 8 is equal to 8. So that means x is equal to 10 is a solution to our original equation. Next, we will use x is equal to 8. So we have 40 over 8 plus 8 minus 2 over 2 is equal to 8. 40 divided by 8, that is 5, plus 8 minus 2, 6 divided by 2, we have 3 is equal to 8. So 5 plus 3, that is 8, is equal to 8. So that is, um, we consider also 8 as a solution because it makes our original equation true. Therefore, we conclude that the solution set is, we have 10 and 8. Okay, let's try example number 2. Find the solution set of x plus 8 over x minus 2 equals 1 plus 4x over x minus 2. First is we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by the LCM. And the LCM is x minus 2. So we have x minus 2 multiplied to x plus 8 over x minus 2 is equal to 1 plus 4x over x minus 2. Next, we will multiply this by x minus 2. So, x minus 2 times x, that is x multiplied to x minus 2. Plus, x minus 2 times x divided by x minus 2. So, cancelled out x minus 2, we now have 8, is equal to 1 times x minus 2, that's x minus 2, plus 4x times x minus 2 divided by x minus 2, so cancelled, x minus 2, what is left is 4x. Then we simplify, x times x, we have x squared, x times negative 2, we have negative 2x, plus 8. On the right side, we will combine similar terms. x plus 4x, that is equal to 5x minus 2. So, this is not yet in standard form. So, to make this standard, we will apply, sub, uh, we will add both sides of the equation by negative 5x plus 2. Then, we simplify, bring down x squared, 
negative 2 plus negative 5, we have negative 7x plus 8 plus 2 is 10 is equal to negative 5x minus 2 plus negative 5x plus 2, that is equal to 0. So this is now our equation in standard form. After this, we're going to get the roots of this quadratic equation. So we will apply, for me, I will use factoring. So first, we factor the first term, x squared, that is x times x. And we factor 10, we have 10 multiplied to 1 and 5 multiplied to 2. Next is, we're going to add. So this is 11 and this is 7. So what we needed is negative 7. So to make this negative 7, we're going to use neg both negatives. So that when you add negative 5 plus negative 2, that is negative 7. So we now have the roots of x squared minus 7x plus 10. And that is x minus 5. Okay, the factor of x squared minus 7x plus 10, we have x minus 5 multiplied to x minus 2 is equal to 0. Then we apply the zero product property where we're going to set each factor equal to 0. So we have x minus 5 is equal to 0. We add both sides of the equation by positive 5. Then x is equal to positive 5. Then the other root, we have, or the other factor, x minus 2, is equal to 0. We add both sides of the equation by positive 2. Then x is equal to positive 2. So these are now the roots of the quadratic equation, x squared minus 7x plus 10 is equal to 0. Now let's try to check if the roots we obtained is or are the solution to our original equation. So we have x is equal to 5 and x is equal to 2. So we have x plus 8 over x minus 2 is equal to 1 plus 4x over x minus 2. So first we are going to substitute x is equal to 5. So we're going to make the values of x equal to 5. So 5 plus 8 over 5 minus 2 is equal to 1 plus 4 times 5 over 5 minus 2. So we have 5 plus 8 over 5 minus 2 is 3 is equal to 1 plus 20 over 3. So we have 5 plus 8 over 3 that is 15 plus 8 over 3 is equal to 3 plus 20 over 3. So when you add 15 plus 8, that's 23 over 3, is equal to 3 plus 20, also 23 over 3. It means that x is equal to 5 is a solution to our original equation. Now this time, we're going to substitute x is equal to 2. So from our original equation, we have 2 plus 8 over 2 minus 2 is equal to 1 plus 4 times 2 over 2 minus 2. So this is 2 plus 8 over 0 is equal to 1 plus 8 over 0. Remember, dividing by 0 is not allowed. So that means we will stop in this um, equation. So we will not solve it anymore. So we have x is equal to 2 makes our denominator equal to 0. Therefore, we conclude that x is equal to 2 is not a solution to our original equation. We call this extraneous root. And an extraneous root is a solution of an equation derived from original equation. However, it is not the solution of the original equation. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.